Hey everyone, welcome to the Hire My VA Team and Business Building Podcast brought to you by YouGoZu.com. And in this podcast and at Hire My VA, we help you to reclaim your freedom through hiring and thriving with virtual assistants without breaking the bank. That means your bank. And I'm Dave Braun, your host. And normally I'm here with Larry Broughton, but he's taking a break as I referred to in the, the previous episode. So I'm going to do my best to walk you through this episode. This is number 119. And really what we're going to do here, we're going to do something a little bit different. Now we're going to talk, uh, do a summary of some of our earlier episodes. Um, some of these episodes we did uh, a while ago, um, over a year ago, but they are so um, evergreen. And I don't want you guys to miss some of the important points in that. Um, in these first set of our podcast episodes, when we started answering these questions, they're really more limiting beliefs um, when it comes to building a team and ultimately a business. And these limiting beliefs are things that I've had to get over, Larry's had to get over, and you've got to be able to get over these things as well if you're going to build a business. Um, uh, you know, if you haven't heard what I feel is the best, very best definition of a business, I'm going to tell you what it is right now. And it's from Dan Locke, and he's an internet marketer. And he said, a business is a profitable enterprise that works either with or without you. Get that, with or without you. The key thing is without you. Because if you aren't working towards that, if your business is gonna collapse when you're gone, then you're really not building a business. You're continually creating a job for yourself. Sometimes that job that you're creating for yourself is even worse than a real job because at least with a regular job, you can take a vacation and get away from it all. If you're building a business and you can't step away from it, then it's like uh, you know having a ball and chain around you. You can't be doing that. The best way to do that is you just got to build a team. Okay. So um, these earlier episodes you can find on our website at hiremyva.com slash podcasts, where you can listen, watch, or read, and because we've got transcripts there. Okay, but what's great about this episode, and I think we're going to do a few more like this, we're going to see, um, is we're going to give you, or I'm going to give you the main highlights of some of these episodes. Now, I still recommend you go back and listen to them or, or at least read through it. Um, but at least here, you're going to get some really pointed and um, condensed information in just this one episode. Okay, so we're going to go through uh, three of the different episodes. All right. Now, in our first episode, we answered the question, doesn't hiring someone cost too much? And I'm going to um, uh, walk us through this using my iPad again. So let me share my screen. Give me a quick sec here. Okay. All right, so hopefully you guys see this. Hopefully, oh, I got to go to my pen. All right, that's working good. We use blue this time. Let me get rid of that. All right, so um, so our first episode was um, doesn't hiring someone cost too much? Okay, so we talked. Um, uh, we have these different points that we brought up. Um, so number one is uh, we aren't. We aren't, I can't type, I can't write as fast as I talk. We aren't uh, calculating time correctly, okay? Okay, number one, we aren't calculating time correctly because we think a task that will take an, let me go back up. <laughs> we think a task that we do um, is gonna take an expert the same amount of time. And what we do is we project that time cost in the calculation. So for example, um, it might take us 10 hours per month to do our accounting, okay? But someone that really knows what they're doing, you know, it's gonna take them probably five hours a month, okay? So we might automatically think, well, like an accountant's gonna make $100 an hour, it's gonna cost 10 hours. No, it's only gonna be five hours because they know what they're doing. It's not gonna cost you that much, but you can kind of get the idea, right? So we aren't calculating the time correctly and how much time it's gonna take somebody else to do it, all right? So the second point was brought up is that we aren't calculating the actual cash. The actual cash cost is incorrect in our minds. Okay. So 
we all always think of, you know, how much is going to cost in the United States. Now, there's various places in the United States that is it's going to be different between whether or not you are in um, Southern California, like I am, versus somewhere maybe in uh, Georgia or Florida. The costs are going to be a little bit different. Okay. Now, um, because we talked about here, it's not just about time, but it's about actual um, location. So that's one of the reasons we advocate for uh, people from the um, the Philippines, because uh, we, we've talked about that in a bunch of episodes, but they're loyal, they're hardworking, um, they're honest, um, and they're very, uh, there's a lot of expertise, and their rates are roughly um, one-fifth to uh, one-tenth of what it is in the U.S., all right? So you can really get a lot more bang for your buck. Um, an example is if you've hired a developer that might cost you 100K per year for a, a US, um, it's going to be maybe about 10K um, per year in the Philippines. Okay, that's quite a bit different. And you may even ask yourself, well, of course, in the US, they'll be more productive. But and, and that may be true, but that may not be true. We've got some really productive um, Philippine resources. Okay. Um, so uh, you got to challenge that in your mind. Okay. The, the next thing that we were talking about, oops. The next thing that we were talking about is get this back here. The next thing we were talking about in number three is we aren't cal we, the, we aren't calculating the lost opportunity uh, costs. Okay. The lost opportunity costs. Okay, so lost opportunity costs. Say you spend 10 hours a month on accounting, what else could you be doing with that time? What could you doing? What could you could you be doing with another 10 hours per month? Well, I mean, you could be you could be doing creating new offers, you can be building your email list, you can be talking to more qualified prospects, you could be designing better systems, you could be thinking about ways of giving more value to a client so that you could even charge them more. Okay, so what this is doing is if you can get those 10 hours back is you can move your brain from more tactical to strategic. Okay, that's really, really important. Once you start thinking about strategic, then you can start thinking about how you can grow your business um, independent of yourself. Okay, and remember though, that these hours, these hours here, they are truly lost. Okay, they're lost. You can't gain those back. Um, you just can't. Now, you can translate those monies to hours to a certain extent, and you can always earn more money, but you can't um, earn more time. Okay, now also what you could do is uh, you could use those hours not just to, um, you know, build your business, but you could also translate those hours to keeping yourself healthy or your family healthy, having your, giving yourself a little bit more time to do some of those other things. Because so many of us entrepreneurs, we just don't, um, we just don't uh, keep ourselves healthy. What if you had another 10 hours a month? If you could do um, 20 half hour workouts, what if you translated this, those hours into 20 half hour workouts per month? Do you think that, that you would be more healthy? Absolutely. Okay. So one of the things also that I want you to do is go to hiremyva.com. You will be able to see what we've got there, something that's recent, and it should be up by the time you listen to this, is we've got, um, change colors here because it's so important, is a lost opportunity calculator. Okay, for those who are just listening, I'm writing down. That's why I'm talking a little bit slow. A lost opportunity calculator. You can see um, how many hours that you can potentially gain back by um, offloading various things. Okay, so that is um, that was our first episode. All right, so let me clear this out and. We're going to clear this out and then we're going to talk about our second episode. Now, the second episode was um, I've never managed someone before and don't know where to start. OK, that was our second episode. And we're going to do red for this one because I want to have fun. <laughs> so in the second episode, where we talked about I've never managed someone before and don't know where to start. We brought up these following points. OK, uh, number one in that episode is 
doing anything at all is scary the first time okay scary the first time and it's hard but eventually it does get easier anything that we do is scary the first time and it gets it and it's hard but it will get easier think about when you uh started driving a car when you um first did your business it, it's it was hard got your first client sometimes that's those things are hard the second point was um you know that's why we've created our course and community okay we've done that for you to help us all get better and better with managing team members and of course getting our lives back and one of the things that's really important is that you guys get to learn from um larry and i we've got about 80 years now uh yeah we're getting up there <laughs> 80 years combined years of experience managing and leading teams and here's one of the things that's important to remember is that we've led various teams we've led uh, sports teams we've led um, nonprofits, for profits for large companies big companies small companies we've done um and then larry of course is military as well so on all different um areas uh, we've led teams okay now the the third point here because remember we're talking about um getting rid of the false belief of i've never managed someone before and don't know where to start so larry talked about using the um d-a-c-c -C framework okay the d-a-c-c -C framework the d stands for direction okay be clear on the direction that you are giving somebody a stands for alignment okay you want to make sure that what you're doing aligns with the company goals what they're doing aligns with the company goals the first c then is commitment you've got to get commitment from yourself and everybody in the company that this is where you are going Okay, and then the other C, the last C is communication. Okay, obviously you've got to be communicating on a regular basis. Okay, so that was the third point. Okay, so then the fourth point we talked about is a mistake that a lot of people make is they say, I'm gonna just jump into this and hire three or four people. That can be a mistake. So what we advocate is start slow and hire one and then move on from there because the, the dynamics change as you, um, as you hire more people. So you hire one and move on from there. Okay, the fifth thing we talked about is you will make mistakes. Okay, mistakes will happen. There is a learning curve, okay? And then, um, and of course, we are there to help you, right? So be ready, you're gonna make mistakes. You give yourself some permission to fail Okay, we want you to give yourself permission to fail because we failed too. We failed multiple times. I've screwed up so many times, but I've always uh, forged ahead knowing that this is the, the way to freedom is building that team, okay? And then the sixth thing is these mistakes is, well, we help shortcut those. Um, sh we help you shortcut um, getting over them and not making them because we actually have you know, basically a recipe for you guys to be successful in the course. Okay. So that ends up being our, um, the, that was the, the second episode. I've never managed someone before and don't know where to start. Now our third episode, the question was similar, but it had a little bit of a twist. It's basically, I have no or little experience managing. Will building a team work for me? All right. So I'm going to do this a little bit different. Can I cut this out? No, that didn't work. All right, we're just gonna, um, instead of that, we're gonna move down below this. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about, I have no or little experience managing while building a team work for me. So here's what we mentioned the following here is, all right, so some people look at us and say, of course it works for you. You know, you look at Larry and Dave, and you say, well, of course it works for you because you've got all these years of experience that we just mentioned. Well, of course, that's one of the reasons why we created Hire My VA to help you, that we've got the Hire My VA course and community, okay? All right, and we're not here just to help you with the team, but we're here to help you with um, not only team, but with your, but both business as well, okay? 
All right. So, and one of the ways that we do this, the main way that we do this is with our powerful Q and A sessions. Okay. They're designed uh, exactly so that you can ask us anything that you want from, you know, we've had a question about how to get rid of overwhelm. Um, yeah, you can ask us how to keep in shape, you know, even how do you establish habits um, to what are the most important financial systems in your business or in your life to create. So you can ask us anything you want. If you, when you participate or submit a question, we will answer it. And then the other great thing about it is you'll get our community answering it um, as well, the folks that are on the call. We leverage those as well. So you're not just getting Larry and me and our years of expertise, but you're getting a lot of others, uh, their expertise as well. Um, the second thing we have to remember is we started like you. So we started just like you. And guess what? It's working for us. And it, it we like I said, we failed, um, but it's worked and it is working. We are still hiring people and looking for people. And we are still trying to hone our craft. Um, and that's one of the great things about being with us is you'll learn some of the mistakes that we're still making and that we're, um, um, you know, uh, and how we're overcoming certain things. We're constantly adding... Um, we're constantly adding new, um, new information, what might be uh, action guides, worksheets, et cetera, to the course, okay? So it's a living and breathing thing. All right, so that's number two. Then the third thing is we talked about um, learning from um, our mistakes, successes, and then the community, okay? And I, I'm kind of repeating myself here. Let me write that better. <laughs> I'm kind of repeating myself in here here because it's so, so um, critical. Um, one of the things I want to tell you a story, one of our um, community members just recently, and of course, Larry, but um, they ended up changing their meetings and going around and saying what they were thankful for at the beginning. So if you're in the Hire My VA um, course and you've seen it, we give you a sample uh, meeting agenda, how you want to structure a team meeting on a weekly basis. One of the things that in the training, it talks about starting off with a celebration, and that's great. And I've done that for years, uh, but they're talking now about start, um, start off with asking people how they are thankful. So move from celebration to what are you thankful for? And so we've been doing that in the last couple of months in, in our team, and it's, it's a lot more fun. It really does lead to a better team meeting. It leads to a better attitude because once people are thankful and grateful, they are a lot more positive and they realize um, that there really is, is a lot. It helps. The more thankful we are, the more positive we are. Okay. So, um, so that's kind of what happens. Even an old dog like me <laughs> can learn new tricks. Um, so if, if you're just starting out, if you've been around for a while, come on in and, and join us. So that's a quick review of our first three episodes, and we think those are pretty good. I think we'll be doing a few more of these in the future, but let us know down in the comments, is this something that you want that you think is going to um, uh, be more valuable to you? Okay. All right. So thank you all for joining us today, because remember, building a team is the way uh, to reclaim your freedom. And we, of course, are here to help you with our course and community and our white glove service, where we find a rock star VA for you. So um, three things we'd love for you to do right now, and we really appreciate it. Number one, subscribe to this podcast if you haven't already done so. Do it either on your phone or um, well, on your phone, your uh, Android phone or your iPhone. Just go ahead and subscribe to us. Do it on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, um, and then the little bell next to it to get reminders. So please go ahead and do that. And then number two, give us a rating preferably five star or leave a comment below this video, any comment because it'll help us to get the word out and we will respond. If you have a question, throw it in there, do it in our community. If you're part of us, do it in YouTube, do it wherever you, you want to. Okay. Um, and then number three, go to hiremyva.com for more information on our course and community, our free resources. You can get podcast transcriptions there, everything. Um, and you'll um, find out about our white glove service. Because remember, even without experience, you'll learn how to prepare for, hire, and thrive with virtual assistants. Larry and I have helped a lot of folks, um, and we want to help you too. Okay, So just go to HireMyVA.com for more information. You guys have a very, very blessed day. Hope this is helpful to you. Let us know, and we'll see you at the next episode. Take care. Bye.